Good morning, my fellow Canadians. Well, welcome to China. More and more what I'm reading, what I'm seeing, China, quite frankly, scares the hell out of me. And Trudeau and his cabinet and their love affair with China, his shameless pandering and apologies for the actions of the Chinese government. The inroads they're making internationally and the amount of Canadian territory that is winding up under the control of China should concern every Canadian. Is the video that surfaced of Chinese troops on Salt Spring Island, is it accurate? And if it is, why don't you have, we know the mainstream media wouldn't touch it, but why don't you have independent media examining that and verifying it? I'd like to know if this is a fact. Can you imagine foreign troops on Canadian soil at the invite of the Canadian government? And not only foreign troops, because we've had foreign troops here before. I served with Americans who were up here for winter indoctrination, like up in Petawawa, things like this. There's quite some stories out of that. One of the American guys looked and said, you have horse guards and dragoons. You know, he saw some of the boys, you know, the names of these proud Canadian regiments. And they don't have that, of course. So I digress. But to have troops from a hostile foreign power, and make no mistake, China is a hostile foreign power. It is a communist government. Trudeau's famous line about he admires their basic dictatorship. They get things done. To Mr. Trudeau, I would say this. Yes, they get things done, Mr. Trudeau. It's not the fact that they get things done. It's how they get things done. Were I to put a gun to your head and tell you, dig or die, you would dig. So yes, they get things done. Do you not understand the nature of totalitarianism? Do you not understand the nature of control through fear? Well, obviously, Trudeau and his cabinet do not understand that concept. It was interesting, and I'd, I hadn't given it a lot of thought, but I had thought about what happened to Nortel, right? Nortel. We were the world's leader in telecommunications. When I worked in Saudi Arabia, I talked to the boys from uh, Ma Bell and uh, Canada, Canadian technicians were setting up in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, their entire telecommunications network, because we were the best, and that's why they hired us. Now it's gone to Huawei, and it came out finally. Nortel was infiltrated. Nortel's technology was stolen. Stolen, industrial espionage, and corrupted by Chinese at the behest of their government. And it's come out that there are Chinese citizens here actively engaged in industrial espionage and uh, actions inimical to Canada. Some of them, from an ideological standpoint, they believe in the Chinese communist government. Others, with relatives in China, basically do this or your relatives are in peril. Your relatives will pay the price for your disobedience in China. So they are working for the Chinese communist government against the interests of Canada. This is not an opinion. This is fact if you choose to check this out. And I'd like to make something clear here. I am not slamming Chinese people by any means. I've met enough of them and worked with enough of them. But the Chinese communist government is the greatest threat right now to world peace. Uh, apparently they're expanding heavily into Africa. Anybody who studied world history remembers the Second World War and the German cry of Lebensraum, that we must expand, we need more living room 
Lebensraum for our people. Well, the Chinese population is so vast now that they are prepared to look at taking over, infiltrating and eventually taking over foreign lands to give more room to their people. And Canada is ripe for the plucking. When you have a weak and ineffectual government, and especially one that seems to pander so shamelessly to China, we've left ourselves open. Gold is over 2,000 an ounce, I think now. Where's Canada's gold reserves? The Liberal government sold them to China for a fraction of their actual value. A gold mine opened up, apparently, in Canada. Now it has been sold to the Chinese. What's going on? We had SARS, H1N1, bird flu, swine flu, now the coronavirus, all gifts from the Chinese government. They lied. They lied through their teeth, like every communist government, denied responsibility, and then when they finally did take responsibility, they downplayed the degree of threat. And our liberal government was slow off the mark in responding. They've been called to task. Theresa Tam, I've gone on before. Is she working in the interest of Canada? My personal opinion, no. She's working in the interest of the WHO, which is shamelessly, again, pandering to China and pushing the Chinese agenda. Or is she an active agent of the Chinese Communist government? I would not be at all surprised. So my country is in threat. My country is in peril because of a weak and ineffectual government, morally bankrupt, ethically corrupt government, ineffectual, useless, a government that is actually working against the interests of its citizens. I thought Russia was going to be a problem. Arctic sovereignty, Canadian Arctic sovereignty is under threat. Russia's been making noises, and they always have, about Arctic sovereignty and trying to overturn what the world court has deemed as Canadian territorial waters, trying to lay claim to that. Even the Americans, our closest allies, our closest allies and major defense partner, they transit Canadian Arctic waters without the courtesy of a heads up. Now, this is not a requirement. It's a courtesy. We're going to be transiting your waters and we just want to give you a heads up. And permission is granted almost axiomatically to an ally. Yeah, sure, go ahead. They don't even bother now because what's Ottawa going to do? Nothing. We need so desperately a change, a new broom to come into Parliament to get Canada back on track. I don't see any alternative but the Conservative Party. Is O'Toole perfect? I don't know. The man deserves a chance because the values he espouses at least, at least mirror Canadian ethics, Canadian values. We're facing God, I hope, an election. We've got to get them out of there. We have to get the Liberals out of there. The NDP is a defunct party. Green Party Elizabeth May is, you know, just just useless. My suggestion would be go have another drink and bemoan the loss of your party because you're a joke. That Trudeau would talk about, or Trudeau, the Liberals would talk about instituting this new green energy program. My God. Look, just look at what it did to Ontario under the Wynn Liberals and the disaster that was. Look at the disaster in California, how people are leaving there in droves, brownouts, brownouts in an American state. Unreliable energy in North America. I, th th this, this astounds me. Like, you cannot see that this as a policy is a failure. But once again, the Liberal government is doing what they seem to love to do, take proven failures and attempt to institute them. 
proven failure with the firearms legislation, the gun crackdowns, the gun bans. Proven failure. Oh, let's institute that in Canada. Proven failures. And now this green energy program that he's going to push. I wait to see what the throne speech says. Proven failures. Let's bring it here. Where's the outrage? Where's the anger? People, 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 we are being screwed right down to our skivvies by this government. I don't know, folks. I don't know. What are we to do? Band together in common cause to get this government out of there before Canada as Canada ceases to exist. And that's not an exaggeration. The RCMP are two steps away from absolutely useless as agents of the government. They will never charge the government. Their, their investigations have been tainted uh, by the whiff of uh, government oversight. So you're not enforcing the law. I'd love to see someone who really knows the law look up what elements are required to prove treason. Because in my opinion, the Liberal government is treasonous, if not traitorous. What they are doing against the interests of Canada, in my opinion, should be charged. They should be labeled and charged for treason. Because they are destroying Canada. Everything I loved about this country is a threat, unless perhaps I go out west. They're rigging the election already. The Liberals are now floating the idea of giving voting rights, voting rights to permanent residents. The right to vote is a perk of citizenship. Become a Canadian citizen. Now that's already been devalued by the Liberal government, citizenship. But to garner those extra votes, give it to those who have not earned the right to vote. PR status is not citizenship. You don't have the right to cast a ballot. They are doing everything they can to load the next election in their favor, like they did in the last one. And of course, the mainstream media is silent about this. Because look at the money they get from the Liberal government. And when I say from the Liberal government, I mean out of your pocket, because that's where all this comes from. We have to save this country, people. We really do. And the only ones who can save it, to those of you watching out there, people like me, people like you, common folk, banding together in common cause, supporting your candidates, get out there. Get out there when the electioneering starts come. Volunteer, man phones, knock on doors, do information sessions. I'd love to see the Conservative government put out mass town hall meetings once this COVID crisis so-called is over. I'd like to see them putting forth rallies like Trump has, Conservative rallies. Come one, come all. Listen, see what's wrong, see what we're going to do to fix it. I would like to see a conservative news network dedicated to conservative news. Because unlike the liberals who don't have to lie, conservatives don't have to lie. They just have to point to the facts. Unlike the liberals, the conservatives don't have to obfuscate. They can again point to the facts, to what has been done and what is being proposed and how is it, it is inimical to the interests of this country. I'd love to see a conservative newspaper, a conservative news channel, bringing to light every new scandal out of the Liberal government. Factual, proven, not slanderous, not libelous, factual, proven criminality. And start pushing for legal ramifications or censure. If nothing else, they should be charged with malfeasance. So I'm asking anybody, if you like my video, please pass this on to everybody who loves this country. Because if you love this country, you are witnessing the death, not an exaggeration, the death of Canada. Or should we call it China?
for the amount of inroads China is making. Let's call it that because that's where we're heading. And this is not an exaggeration. Please, people, if you love this country as much as I do, if you really care about what we are, get away from the complacency. Get away from the laissez-faire attitude. Put a fire in your belly and help us save Canada. That's my message for the morning. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay safe, my fellow Canadians.